Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm sharing a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout with you. I'm using some photos from Easter. Actually, the day after is when we celebrated it. And I'm using some digital collections from Felicity Jane. I have two four by six photos here and I did pre-cut most everything for this layout so it came together quickly on camera. I have lots of die cuts cut out for me of the gorgeous flower clusters and some bows. I also cut some chipboard that I'll be using and I, I'm using some scraps as well. I have two four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mats and these papers here with the white block on them, I printed out a white block because I'll be covering those up. Therefore, I didn't want to waste any ink on them. And I will also be adding my main page down to a white piece of cardstock just to give myself a slight white border. Here on this gorgeous ombre blue striped paper, I'm showing you that I added some digital stamps that come in the Felicity Jane collection kits. I just added those right onto my paper before printing them out. So I'm laying down a nonstick craft mat and I'm pulling out some Beacon Fabri-Tac and I left one flower just to show you that I back all my flowers on a white piece of cardstock. That way it gives them some st stability on my, my layout. I'm going to use that same Fabri-Tac and add down my layers. My first piece, like I said, will go on a piece of white cardstock. It's going to give me just a slight white border. And that black heart paper is from the Brook collection. This beautiful ombre paper is the Alexis collection. This paper here, I'm going to add some scrap pieces of chipboard behind to give it just a slight dimension. And this is from the Reagan collection. I love Felicity Jane because all their collections are meant to kind of coordinate and go to together. Therefore, I was able to use several of the collections. That right there gives me a perfect amount of dimension that I wanted. And now I'm going to add this gorgeous floral paper. The floral paper is from the Alexis collection. I'll add that on top of those pink hearts there. And these collections went really perfectly with my son's girlfriend's dress. Um, here I'm using some scallops that I cut out from my Silhouette Cameo. And the yellow polka dot is also from the Alexis collection. My son's girlfriend has yellow in her dress, so I wanted to tie in that yellow to give it just that pop to coordinate. So I'm gonna add a, this piece to the top right. I didn't want it to be the same size that I added to the other side, so I cut that down. And I'll also use that scrap piece here in a moment. And now I'm going to add my photos to the mats. I'm using my ATG gun. And just centering those. I did cut out a piece of chipboard to go behind one of the photos but in the end I didn't like how that looked so I adhered them straight down to the page. So here's where I tuck in that last little piece of the scallop. The um, Beacon Fabri-Tac is great to use because if it if any of it seeps out, you can just simply wipe it away or you could use a glue adhesive remover and it'll get rid of any of that glue that's that you don't want. So I'm just kind of arranging my flowers. I wanted a cluster on the left and also on the right. These are such gorgeous flowers. Those flower die cuts are from the Henley collection. And I chose those over the flowers that came in the Alexis collection because, like I said, they matched with her dress a little bit better. So here I'm using my bone folder and running it over those flowers to give them dimension. I'm curling up the sides of them. And the parts that I curled up, I'm adding some foam squares behind them. And then I'll either use my Fabri-Tac or my hot glue gun to adhere the flowers down to the center. And a couple of those flowers, I do cut off the little leaves that come with them. So these come in the collection and I simply, in my Silhouette Studio, I simply trace them and cut them out. It's super simple to do. It does the fussy cutting for you. I don't mind fussy cutting. Sometimes I do it just to relax 
watching TV or whatever. But a lot of times if I'm just trying to get a layout done, I just have the silhouette doing it. It's very simple, very quick. I like to either put my layouts in a 12 by 12 frame. They sell the dimensional frames that hold 12 by 12 photos at Michael's. Um, I purchase those with a coupon. And then a lot of times I like to just add the layouts to my wall. So when I'm done here, I'm going to add this layout to a piece of 12 by 12 chipboard. And then what I don't show on camera is I use those little um, uh, photo hangers, the little metal ones that you can buy at Walmart or Home Depot. And I place those on the back with a little bit of E6000. And then I just need a, a small little thumbtack to hang these up in my craft room. And I love having some of my favorite layouts around the room. So here's uh, here's where I added on. I'm just using the same fabric tack. And as you could see, I did add the bows also cut from the cameo. I added those one to the top right and the bottom left. And I'm just adding the journaling Easter. Again, it was the day after Easter is when we celebrated it. And they're actually not the best photos lighting wise, but we were going to be eating dinner a little bit later when it would have been perfect time to go out and take some photos. So I still wanted to get the photos in. I knew we dinner was going to be ready a little bit around uh, the evening when it would have been better time to take photos, but I didn't want to miss taking some photos. So I'm simply finishing the layout off with some Crystal Nouveau drops in white. I hope you've enjoyed the process. I have some detailed photos and check the description box for links for the Felicity Jane products used. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day.